um, the space. I wanted to use the room on the eye, the, what, the room that's next to the caravan. And what I wanted to do with that was to give a, a sense of a presence of an outside force being in there. Um, and the reason for this is because Damien, big Damien, spoke about the ghosts. And I thought, here I am, I'm an outsider in this space, and how do I produce my presence with this room and with the outside? So I produced, I put two mics in the room, two mics outside, and I recorded for an hour. And then I used my alto sax as a low drone, as my presence within there. Uh, and then sort of meld them together slightly using a little bit of software afterwards and to produce a, a 30 minute piece. Uh, it's quite dramatic because the day was quite dramatic and rainy so there's a lot of wind and stuff which I didn't want to edit out. I wanted it to be a part of a sort of a narrative of my presence within that space if you like or another presence within that space. Um, for the work with Damien James with the spoons, I wanted to do a counterbalance with the saxophone so that um, you get the impression of what the spoons are doing, but there's also this, this slightly other, I'm not saying narrative, because I, I didn't want it to be a narrative. What I wanted was that there was a sort of a parallel counterbalance going on at the same time. Um, and that's a work in progress. With Damien James reading his poem, I wanted the poem to be one where I didn't understand what was going on, so I chose the one that was purely in Romany, although I had heard the translation. But I didn't want the, um, the saxophone to be an illustration of that. What I wanted was, that, again, sort of this parallel voice coming through that um, is, on, is, is listening to the rhythms and is working with the rhythms of Damien's voice. Okay, I 